Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming back to Survival Map. So today, we're going to talk about power. This is a company called Rav Power, and I've been testing out their gear, unsponsored or nothing like that. I've been testing out their gear for um, roughly, I guess it's been about a year now. And they sell battery packs and solar chargers. And we use them, and you're like, you know, you think about survival situations, and you think about non, non, like I'm dying situations, but like camping or, um, you know, we had a hurricane come through, and and tornadoes recently here in Georgia, and um, jack up the power. Sorry, zero's messing with stuff, and we lost power for I think three days. And a teenager, I don't know if any of you have teenagers, but if a teenager loses their cell phone, they start to get a twitch. And after their twitch comes manic screams. And after the manic screams comes throwing and breaking things and running around the house like a maniac. Or you could just charge their cell phone with a device. So this is the Rav Power A series. Um, I got them on sale, I think, for 50 bucks or 60 bucks. The charging port's right here, there's a cable in the bag. And it can charge up to three devices. It lights up blue, lets you know how many, you know, one to four of its power level. And this will charge my Samsung Galaxy the Note. I think this one will charge my cell phone six times or seven times without ever having to charge it. So then you think about, like, okay, what about, like, really, really survival stuff? Like, I mean, like, really, really the the shit has hit the fan. Um, or, I feel like going backpacking cross country, or I'm gonna go on a walkabout, Crocodile Dundee style, I'll be back in a month. So this, <laughs> I don't know, um, this is really cool, it was advertised, it comes with these carabiners, um, it's Velcro, it's got ports, it's a 15 watt port solar charger, See, it's got two ports, it can charge two devices. So, um, this goes on, and then it's got three beautiful solar panels. Isn't that nice? So you take the carabiners, and you um, hook it up to your backpack while you're hiking. Just like that. Or, if you're not hiking, you know, you're sleeping. See how it's got four, it's got four spots for it. Let's say you're not... You're not um, not hot hiking. You're going just camping, or you're stuck in a crazy traffic jam, and you have to be on a conference call, or your boss is going to fire you, and your car port charger is not working in your car. What do you do? Well, this will charge your cell phone wherever there's sunlight. So the idea when we bought these two pieces of equipment, which weren't exactly cheap, I think this was, I think combined, I think it was 120 for the two items. Maybe a little, I think maybe a little more. I think this was a little expensive. But it was highly recommended. I wish I could find this video. But this British dude did a test on all these solar panels. And um, out of, he tested, I mean, like high mechanical engineering radio. Uh, he did all these super duper tests with all this really expensive gear and equipment that I don't own or have or want to own or could use. And the RAV Power Solar Charger, I think, came in third place. And the other two that were above it were about double the price. So, eh, I'm okay with third place. I'll take the bronze on that one. Because this was, I think, like, I think 80 bucks. And the next one, second place, was like 250 And the first place one was like 450 for a solar charger. Just too much for me. But I th believe, if I remember right, this will charge in about six to eight hours of pure daylight. So of, an, of good sunlight with this and this. So this will charge this in about eight hours of pure sunlight, which will then charge my cell phone six times or seven times or eight times. Just go with seven. Seven sounds nice. So as long as I get eight hours of sunlight in a given seven day time frame. I'll have cell phone power, never plug it into an outlet. And I thought that was pretty cool. Now, I could use this and 
save a couple bucks on my light bill, but why? You know, this is for emergency uses and for camping and for having fun. You know, I've used it um, for camping once and there wasn't a whole lot of sunlight. It was a very shady, cloudy kind of day. And it was just a field test, but it did work. It did out, output power. It did charge the device from one bar to two bars, this device. So it worked, you know, but during the hurricane, during the tornadoes, when we lose power for days at a time, uh, this has saved either my life or my teenager's life. I haven't decided which yet, but it provided our cell phones with power, which provided us with entertainment. And um, that's pretty good piece of information. Philosophically speaking, you know, um, Urban Prepper talked about having an old device, like an old, I don't know, uh, Samsung Galaxy 3. So that's what, six generations, five generations old now? But is, if it has a SD card slot in it, you can put an SD card, 128 gig SD slot, and then all of a sudden this this screen, this mini computer that has 128 gigabytes of data is available to you. And I mean, yeah, okay. So that's like, oh, I don't know, 18 video games or 200 hours worth of music or 10,000 books or a combination there in between. But for the preppers, for the people thinking about the long-term stuff, if you had a, an old cell phone, you know, you already paid for it. Don't trade it in. Keep one. Keep one that you can apply more memory to with an you know external SD card and put an SD card in and fill that thing full of information. And make sure the information you put on it or whatever you put on that device works. It works on airplane mode when there's no cell phone signal and there's no uh, cell towers. Everything's it's got no out outgoing or incoming information. It's just a mini computer that has um, maybe a hundred of your favorite songs, two of your favorite video games, like Tetris and chess or something. And it's got five thousand books that you want to read and learn. Maybe Dave Cattenberry's books or the Survival SAS Handbook, or uh, what's the other one I got over there? Back to Basics. It talks about homesteading and farmsteading, how to raise chickens and how to grow vegetables and seasons and things like that. I mean, that's information that when the internet goes away, our generation, or my generation, the generations that come after me, they're just lost without Google. Um, even the people who are a little older than me, you know, maybe we use Google a little more than we should. Um, but I'm sure you're, you know, you call your grandfather if he's still alive, which hopefully he is. You're lucky. Um, give them a call or call your father, call your mother. Ask them how to plant a garden. Ask them what's the best month to grow Roma tomatoes. I bet they know. I bet they have good ideas where I don't know that. And I should. And I guarantee my son doesn't know that. That's more philosophy stuff but anyways enough rambling power information good job right I know there's not a whole lot of technical information about this equipment I mean for you techies that want to know this is the RAV, Para, RAV Power A series it says it's 2200 milliamps DC 5 volts 2.4 A max uh, that's the input. Output is 5 volts or 5.8 amps total, 2.4 amps each max. Uh, do not throw in a dumpster. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Until next time, see you around.